I hope Mother's all right. What about the boys? What about Father? Did you pay the overdue tax oh, bill? Of course I paid it. What about the Wyndham's credit card bill? You know, what? my name's on that, too. Wait a minute. Just stop it, Alan. Why don't you go and ask, all right? Just ask. Okay. Dr. Missoni, call the pharmacy. Dr. Yes. Missoni, you call the me? pharmacy. Sean Donnelly. I think I'd prefer the tax collector. Come on, let's get this over with. Dr. Lanham, please call Dr. Denton in oncology. You wanted to see us? Oh, yes, I did. Hi, you two. How you doing? Uh, we're fine, thank you. We're, we're a bit mystified. Dr. Lanham, oh, let me set your mind to the rest then. This is strictly a social call. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I'm planning on having dinner at uh, Duke's Club tonight. Thought it'd be fun to make it a threesome. Tiffany would join us, but uh, she has to work. Who are the other two people? <laughs> funny, Alan, very <laughs> funny. You and Monica, of course. Are just the three of us? Why not? What do you say? I say you've got an unbelievable amount of gall after what you pulled on this family. Oh, all right, look, Alan, I can't blame you for feeling that way. Let's just say I'm trying to make amends, all right? Well, let me tell you, a steak and a bottle of champagne won't do it. Let's the go back steak to and champagne is not all I had in mind for this evening. Oh, really? What are you up to, Donnelly? Why don't you join me and find out? I'm intrigued. I promise you, it's something that will change your lives. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Now, Alan, uh, you know, we had, we had said that we were going to go to Duke's Club one of the nights this week. Why don't we make it tonight? We could kill two birds with one stone and... Find out what Sean has to say. You won't be sorry, Alan. Well, in order for me to get a little peace of mind, we're going to have to satisfy Monica's curiosity. Okay, we'll be there. Great. About 8.30? See you. Got love pangs again, Monica? Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. I've seen that look in your eye before. Look, my only interest in Sean Donnelly is to find out what he's up to. Something criminal, I'm sure. Cheers. So let's hear it from you, Sean. Cheers. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I mean, your idea, your idea that's going to change our lives. <laughs> All right. I can't wait. I find myself in a unique position of owning a diamond mine. Wait, stop right there. I know what you're going to say. You want Monica and me to invest in your diamond mine, and if we have any money left over, you've got a couple of shares in the Brooklyn Bridge that Alan, you like to sell. Alan, Alan. No, 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 no. What about the Quartermain mine? I know it's in the general vicinity of my own. Well, yes, it's no secret where the Quartermain mine is. It's also no secret that it's worthless. Why, poor diamonds? No diamonds. What the castle diamond mine? Oh, well, that is another story, but that would take an awful lot to make that productive again. I mean, it would take a certain formula and the right environmental conditions. What are you cooking up, Donnelly? Yes, what? Why, diamonds, of course. What else? Now, I know that the Cassidine wine is right next to mine, and I have a feeling where there is one ice princess, there should be another. Don't you agree? 